Hello. I'd like to welcome you all to our first virtual parchment ceremony and particularly welcome President O'Halloran, Vice President for Learning and Teaching Professor Paul McSweeney, Professor Welton, Professor Williams, Dr. O'Toomey, Professor Hennessy, Professor Cullity, colleagues, students and guests. My name is Dr. Catherine O'Mahony and I am the Director of the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning here at University College Cork. This is a little different from our normal parchment ceremony, but no less a moment for our celebration. I am joined by my esteemed colleagues and programme coordinators, Dr. Bryony Supple and James Cronin, our exemplary Sertle Fellows and the heart of Sertle, Claire Devaney, in congratulating you all on your successful completion of the Postgraduate Certificate and Postgraduate Diploma. It is a singular accomplishment in the midst of a busy working life and never more so in the year we have just had. Thank you all for your tenacity. As a general running order for this event, our president will first address us. We will then hear from the heads of colleges and respective areas, and students' names will be called in between these shorter messages. Our vice president for learning and teaching, Professor Paul McSweeney, will then close out the parchment ceremony. Please feel free to post comments of congratulations to your colleagues, friends, family members on our pub wall just below. This video will be available to view on the Sertal YouTube channel for a number of weeks following the event, should you wish to revisit certain moments. So without further ado, I now welcome our UCC president, Professor John O'Halloran. So good evening, colleagues, and a huge welcome to this really important parchment ceremony for the Certificate Diploma in Teaching and Learning. Um, it's just remarkable we're, we're doing this online, maybe it isn't because we've been doing it all year, but for you and I as colleagues um, to do this this evening is something special that we mark it. But I suppose also we had hoped, I guess, to be back on the campus, but at this stage we're still uh, working at that. Um, I want to particularly welcome my own colleagues on the management team, Professor Sarah Cullity, Professor Chris Williams, Professor Helen Welton and Professor Tia Hennessy uh, as the College of Business and Law uh, Deputy because of course our great friend and colleague Professor Arcee Kilkelly is amongst the PG certificate graduates here this evening and also to welcome Dr. Seamus Otuma of Allen Continuing Education and the entire CERTL team, CERTL fellows, uh, fellow graduates and postgraduates and, and diploma classes of previous years and guests associated with the Centre for Integration Research, Teaching and Learning. And, you know, it's a huge pleasure for me to welcome as colleagues and friends to this really important event, and particularly those uh, that are within UCC, but also to our other colleagues from other third level institutions who have taken this programme. When I was Vice President for Teaching and Learning um, some years ago, we worked with Marion McCarthy about putting this programme on online. And even before we went online, we had a number of colleagues from outside, from other institutions participating in this, and it brings great richness brings great opportunity, uh, great learnings, different perspectives. And we just thank all of you for doing this, but more importantly, for participating and completing this amazing program. Um, you have completed a fully integrated online program, the only one of its kind in the NUI. Um, so we're really proud of you, but also what we have achieved as, as a university. You're graduates of the 2019-2020 academic year, and I'm delighted to welcome 102 of the graduate certificates, uh, postgraduate certificates, and 32 new postgraduate diplomas in teaching and learning in higher education. You know that UCC enormously values uh, teaching and learning as well as research, and I come back to that in a moment. UCC is ranked in the top 50 universities for teaching and learning according to Times Higher Education rankings, and this success has been achieved through the fantastic leadership originally of Anya Highland right through to Grace Neville, Betty Higgs, Marion McCarthy, and now that responsibility today rests with uh, Dr. Catherine O'Mahony and Professor Paul Maxweeney and all of their teams, um, enabling an amazing enhancement of teaching and learning that's enacted with the three credited programs of both the certificate, postgraduate certificate, the diploma and the master's degree. And we're really proud of these programs. As I mentioned in, in 2015, the decision we made was put the, the postgraduate certificate diploma online in order to provide greater opportunities for staff. And of course, we also required it as part of promotion. So interestingly, we made the program uh, optional so that people could take it or not. Um, other institutions chose a different route and I'm glad that we took that decision then to make it available to colleagues and line up uh, the opportunity for people, but also if they wish to take it for the purpose of promotion 
and, and adding to their opportunity and, and their portfolio. Since 2004, 816 staff have successfully taken the postgraduate certificate in teaching and learning. That's a remarkable achievement by all our colleagues across the institution. And in the current academic year of 2021, another 63 staff are taking the postgraduate certificate, while 37 are completing the diploma. So this momentum continues, this huge movement of colleagues who uh, want to, to get inspired, to be inspired by other colleagues in, in, online or in the classroom, or through research, or through mentoring and through support to become uh, even better teachers at University College Cork. And I think it really epitomizes the value which we place in teaching and learning at UCC. Um, and I think I maybe for a moment just stop there because in some ways when we talk about teaching and learning, it's not as an alternative to research. It's not that we do teaching here and we do research here and because we're all doing teaching that the research isn't important. It's quite the opposite actually. At University College Cork, we have a connected curriculum. We want to make sure that we inspire the next generation of, of, of researchers generating new knowledge and no better way actually than have in high performing colleagues like you who are doing research then reaching back to see what I can do better for my teaching to inspire those colleagues. So it's really important for me to say that, that this is not an alternate, a, a, a Boolean logic model that you do one, you don't do the other. Of course not, actually. At UCC, we value both research and teaching, and we need to actually elevate both of those even more as a research-based university. To you graduates yourself, I want to recognize the hard work the interest, the creativity and passion that was required to get you through this year long programme. And the strength and commitment that you have shown, particularly during this pandemic. Um, and I'm astonished that we, you managed to do it. Uh, secondly, to manage to, com uh, to complete it and, and succeed. While some of us, including some members of the management team and Professor Kilkelly, you were one of them, were trying to, to get the university back on track and, and provide leadership across the institution you were taking a, a, a program and, you know, uh, we just actually salute you for your hard work, all of you, uh, and salute you for your commitment. And it's just remarkable during this really uh, difficult period that not only have you engaged, but you've built on inspiring another group of colleagues to showing your commitment to teaching and learning. And, and I hope that that's moments come back today, that sense of resilience that you have shown that you will remember, because I think we'll all remember COVID. Um, and now you're, you've actually taken a program and a qualification teaching learning at this time. As I mentioned, these are level nine qualifications and therefore not for the faint-hearted. Faint -hearted. And I hope you, as part of this program, have built a community of peers around you so that we can actually start to further develop um, and continue to discuss teaching learning and conceptualize uh, any teaching learning concerns as areas for rich investigation. So encountering challenges in learning, which we've just done. We've, in terms of, of engagement with students online, assessment of students online. Institutionally, we have been reflecting on this on an ongoing basis in the last 10 months. But you as a practitioner, as a professional, uh, have also been doing your own individual reflection to enable you to become an even greater uh, committed and excellent teacher. I encourage you to become an advocate for excellence in teaching. Um, people will look to you you are role models. You're incredibly important to us as an institution because you are actually um, have stepped up, stepped out and completed at a very challenging time. But also people will say, you know, why did you do this? Um, why is it important? And opening up those conversations is really, really important for you because people will look to you as someone who is special, who is an important role model and someone who is actually going to help continue to evolve the learning environment here at University College Cork. So finally, it just remains for me to say thank you, uh, congratulations, um, and I hope that you celebrate in whatever special way you can, because certainly when we've concluded all this, we are going to celebrate. Uh, when I say conclude all this, conclude this lockdown and COVID, we are going to celebrate. We are going to mark your significant achievements uh, as colleagues, in, for your qualification, but also for the amazing commitment each and every one of you have shown during the past year, during this very, very difficult period of the pandemic. pandemic. congratulations, and I wish you well, and I hope you celebrate this evening. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Helen Welton, and I'm head of the College of Medicine and Health. I'm absolutely delighted to be joining you today at your virtual parchment ceremony. 
I offer you my sincere congratulations on behalf of the College of Medicine and Health for your success in achieving your certificates and diplomas in teaching and learning in higher education. Thank you for your commitment to enhancing your skills in learning and teaching. Undertaking such a program is challenging at any time. But during the depths of a pandemic, when we're all struggling to maintain the momentum of our teaching programs and to support our students and each other, it is particularly commendable. Having done the program myself a number of years ago, I still remember the many weekends it took to deliver those assignments. It certainly takes a lot of commitment. Although it was enormously beneficial to have peer feedback on my teaching, I also recall the humility it required to subject my practice, my practice of teaching, to the scrutiny of others and the discipline it required to engage in productive, reflective practice. So it is with great sincerity and understanding that I congratulate for your achievement today. Our university and our College of Medicine and Health will be all the stronger for the advanced skills you have developed in this development journey. I would also like to recognise the faculty at the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning. Without their passion and commitment, we would not have such an excellent and engaging programme and I would thank them for their inspiring leadership. There are a few other people we need to acknowledge today and if you were standing in front of me I would ask you to turn around and applaud your families and friends who have supported you throughout your journey. We all depend on those around us to keep us going when the going gets tough. A huge thank you to your support network who I hope are celebrating either physically or virtually with you today. I am sure that each and every one of you will be excellent ambassadors for this programme and I would encourage you to continue to engage with CERTL in the future. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and that you enjoy hearty celebrations of your wonderful success. Thank you. Peter Barrett Barry Boland Elizabeth Brint Shauna Brown Harriet Byrne Neve Coffey Erin Crowley Grona Curran Maeve Sarah Cush Caroline Egan Saif Yaya Salah El Hadi Jane English Cara Flannery Christy Nicole Garson Godsmark John Patrick Goodwin Naye Kamali Callahan McCarthy Neve Moore Noella Morales Prieto Jennifer Newman Owen Joseph O'Connor Fiona O'Leary Emer O'Neill Kate Nula O'Neill Brendan Palmer, Lavinia Pagnetti, Fiona Reardon. And I'll now move on to the postgraduate diploma students. Neve Buckley, Patrick Cotter, Andrea Factor. Siobhan Fox Zubir Kabir 
David Kyohan. Caroline Kilty. Mutahira Lone. Siobhan Lucy. Karen Matavenko Sikar O'Leary. Laura O'Sullivan. Hello. It's my great pleasure to offer a few words of congratulation to those graduating today with the Postgraduate Certificate or Postgraduate Diploma in Teaching and Learning in Higher Education. It's fantastic to see so many staff from across all colleges and from so many schools graduating today. And we're celebrating the achievements of staff, both at relatively early career stages and those with, shall we say, much more experience of working in UCC. When I began my academic career back in the late 1980s, there was no awareness of the need for professional training in how to teach. I think you were expected to pick it up, almost by osmosis as it were, through learning from those who had taught you or from your colleagues. Now I'd been an undergraduate in Oxford, where the majority of teaching was based on the tutorial system, involving students reading their essays out to tutors who would, if they did not fall asleep, nod sagely at various points, and then at the end tell you what you had misunderstood or what you had missed. This wasn't really a model that could be replicated in a non-Oxbridge setting, and I suspect that my early attempts at teaching at Cardiff University were somewhat hit and miss. I do recall one lecture I gave to over 100 students where some rather bored male students at the back of the hall started hurling an orange about, provoking a severe rebuke from me, the exact nature of which prompted an article about the use of four-letter words by staff in the following week's student magazine. In an interview that I then had to have with the head of school, I tried to convince him that the precise words I used were nothing more offensive than pith and peel. Well, fast forward some 30 odd years and we're in a very different environment. We're having the professional knowledge and competence to teach is now, rightly, valued and appreciated for the vital skill it is. Even so, committing to studying for the dip or the cert is no easy task, and I think it's incredibly impressive that you've managed to find the time and energy to pursue those qualifications alongside your standard responsibilities in teaching, research and administration in your departments and schools. This would be the case in any year, in any time. But since the pandemic hit, I know that we have all had to be incredibly resourceful and resilient in reimagining how to organise and deliver our classes in a very altered environment. That's involved, for many of us, technological challenges and a steep learning curve on Panopto and MS Teams. It's also compelled us to think carefully about how to ensure student engagement and facilitate group discussions virtually. An awareness of pedagogical approaches, philosophies and techniques is, I'm sure, a vital resource in enabling us to respond creatively and imaginatively to the COVID context and thus the CERT and the Diploma will continue to be of enormous value as we work out how best to adapt to the new learning environment. All the more credit then that you have invested so much of your own time, I'm sure a lot of it at weekends and in the evenings, to studying and submitting assignments for this course. It's a real achievement to come out the other end with what is a highly valued and widely recognised qualification that attests to your professionalism and dedication. Not long ago, I was privileged to chair the quality review of the Office of the Vice President for Learning and Teaching, and through that, to encounter both some of the students then enrolled on the Diploma and CERT courses, and a number of those who had graduated over previous years, including quite a few who had come from outside UCC. All those we encountered spoke enthusiastically of their experiences on the programme and expressed a real desire to continue their learning informally once the qualification had been obtained. So my many congratulations that you are now joining that cohort of alumni. Yasmin Ahmed. Andrew Cotty. Rihanna Ashling Doolan. 
Paul John Fruin Said Muhammad Ali Hasnain Blaheen Hurley Elizabeth Kiley Ushi Linehan Richard Malloy Kevin Murray Cleena O'Carroll Monica Mullane Joanne Rose J. Richard Rosman Dipto Sarkar Adele Semple Hannah Sylvester Kevin Sweeney Vasilis Visalu Joel Wamsey Joseph Whelan I'll now move to the postgraduate diploma students Tom Burkett Michelle Finnerty Herbert Geary Anarita Magliacani Sheila Nivoroku Amin Sharifi Good afternoon, colleagues. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate you on your graduation with certificates and diplomas in teaching and learning. There is a long list of colleagues from both Cork University Business School and the School of Law, and I'd really like to say a huge well done and thank you on behalf of the college. It is fantastic to see people to take time out uh, to invest in personal development at any time, but especially over the last 12 months when we've had so many challenges on both a professional and personal front. To have found the time to invest in yourselves and to upgrade your teaching and learning skills is really commendable. I want to say a huge thank you as well on behalf of all of our students who will be the recipients of this um, new learning and teaching skills that you've developed. It is great to uh, see the commitment that you have to teaching uh, that you've taken the time to do this. So I hope you're enjoying the ceremony and you have a wonderful day and a huge well done and thank you again from the College of Business and Law. Thank you. David Alton. David Michael Butler. Michael Darren Gleason. Stefan Yoss. Ursula Kilkelly. Brenda Marie Lynch. Stephen McCarthy. Brendan McElroy. Michael O'Driscoll. Katerina Santi. Sean Anthony Tanner. Samantha Williams. I'll now move to the postgraduate diploma students. Oliver Brown. Sean Butler. Justin Doran. Carol Power. Mary Tumulty. Fidelma White. Dear colleagues, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to send this message on such a lovely occasion as this evening. It's, however, one of those times where I really wish we were back on the campus and we could be celebrating in person. Firstly, congratulations. I hope you're enjoying this event and hopefully celebrating and that you will get a chance to share this occasion with family and friends and if not now, in the very near future. I'm continually struck in the college by the commitment, the passion and the dedication of our staff. This has never been more evident than in the last 10 months. And we've continually seen staff go above and beyond while often juggling really personal uh, circumstances. That commitment is really appreciated. We're incredibly lucky as colleagues and our students are to be in a college where we have staff that are passionate about their discipline and their subject area. And as active researchers are keen to ensure that our students are exposed to the most current 
and relevant topics in their subject area. That is why our students are critical thinkers, why they are the future of STEM, and why they will have a critical role in providing a sustainable future for all of us into the future. Providing such an environment for our students takes energy, it takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes real passion. And that is evident uh, time and time again by the staff in this college. Your participation in this course is evidence of that passion. I can only imagine what sacrifices you made to do this course along with all your normal commitments. But I want you to know that it's very much appreciated by your colleagues, by the students, and by the wider college community. It has no doubt made you think about how you impart knowledge, how you share your expertise, and what the future of STEM education looks like, particularly in the context of the last 10 months. Your dedication, your enthusiasm, your insights, your knowledge, they're all going to be needed as we consider how we implement the learnings of the last year into the future plans for our college and for the university. I'm looking forward to working with you on that together. I hope you have a lovely evening and many, many congratulations. Catherine Brown Malloy Dara Fitzpatrick Clifford Gilmore Jacqueline Gunther Barry Patrick Hayes Kevin Hayes Rosanna Enrique David Henry Lucia Armida Gonzalez Philip Ovel, Laura Kyo, Arundhati Krishnan, Kieran Michael Lynch, Maurizio Mancini, Brian McSharry, Humphrey Anthony Minahan, Michael O'Grady. Emma Marie O'Sullivan, Isabel Pita, Jason Quinlan, Aileen Sain, Class Jan Stoll, David Wall, John Wetherill, Stephen Wills. David Woods, Lee Zilli. I'll now move on to the postgraduate diploma students. Andreas Aman, Paul Leahy, John David Murphy, Tim O'Sullivan. Good evening. I'm very happy to uh, congratulate uh, four of my colleagues from ACE uh, who have uh, recently completed the postgraduate cert in teaching and learning in higher education and are successfully uh, obtaining their uh, parchments this evening. It's a pity, of course, that it's not in uh, real time. It's online, but nonetheless, I think it's important to celebrate and uh, enjoy the occasion. So. To my four colleagues, uh, Lorna Maloney, Barry Hurley, Derek Murphy and Sinead Pierce, hearty congratulations from myself and everyone in ACE on your fantastic achievements. Well done and I'm sure that uh, there may be diplomas and other uh, levels down the line as well. So keep up the great work and uh, not only are you working in adult education, you are also prime examples of good adult learners. So well done to all four of you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Barry Hurley. Lorna Maloney. Darek Murphy. Sinead Pierce.
I'm delighted to offer my congratulations to two cohorts of graduates, our professional services staff within UCC and colleagues from institutions across Ireland and internationally. I'll first address my colleagues within UCC. The courses run by CERTL recognise that learning happens in many different arenas and that thoughtful design of teaching is demonstrated by staff in a wide variety of areas and roles across the university. I recognise your commitment to the enhancement of student learning and your dedication to your own professional development. Our international reputation for excellence in teaching in UCC is a direct result of the commitment and professionalism displayed by you and other UCC staff in this important work. This year we see graduates in both the Postgraduate Certificate and Postgraduate Diploma from the Language Centre, the Skills Centre, UCC, Library and my own treasured colleagues in CERTL. I know of the expertise in place in these respective areas and recognise the value that your insights and perspectives have brought to the course this year. My own CERTL colleagues, Laura and Owen, I recognise that holding the dual role of student and staff within the same area can cause its own challenges and you have navigated that space with grace, tact and keen insight. To the graduates who have joined us from institutions both nationally and abroad, similarly I recognise the strength that your perspectives have brought to the programme, enabling us to position this learning within a broader national and indeed global context. Since very early on in our programme, we have attracted staff from across Ireland and more recently our international audience. I hope that you, as our ambassadors, will remain connected with us. The CERTL community is a global one and we wish for you to remain connected to our ongoing work and indeed to connect us to initiatives that you are undertaking and fresh insights that you can bring us to. To both cohorts, I ask that you act as ambassadors for CERTL's programmes. A key strength of this programme is the interdisciplinary conversations that are sparked by the carefully curated content and activities Brian E. James and our CERTL Fellows bring to this programme. So please do encourage your colleagues and friends to join us in 2021. My heartfelt congratulations to you all and I look forward to linking with you again in the future. Thank you. Michelle Finn Owen Jump, Ian Wallace, Marina Winkler. And now to the postgraduate diploma students, Elaine Harrington, Laura Lee. And now the external students, Needon Busman, Sinead Duan. Hannah Durand, Sean Fitzgerald, Carl Ann Murphy. And now moving to the postgraduate diploma students, Jennifer Connolly, James McPhillips, Gabrielle O'Donoghue. The last 12 months have certainly been a year like no other in the life of UCC. And I think there have been more changes in teaching and learning, arguably in the last year than in the last 175 years of our history. But certainly I've seen more change in the last uh, year than I have in the nearly 31 years I've taught on, in this university. I have described what has happened in recent months uh, in our life as being like a, a being on a roller coaster, uh, both being terrifying and exhilarating in equal measure. So at the outset, I really must commend and thank you most sincerely uh, and indeed the entire university community for your huge efforts on behalf of our students to keep our programmes running, often under very difficult circumstances. Universities in Ireland in general and UCC in particular really stood up to the mark and kept things moving. What we've gone through in the last few months is, I hope at least, uh, a once in a generation crisis. We all have been tested in fire and we have not been found wanting. So well done to everyone. This pandemic has also highlighted UCC as a university, as of and for the community. And these synergies have been enacted through CIRCLE's programmes in a number of ways. Firstly, rethinking teaching. Even before the pandemic, traditional transmissive teaching methods had been challenged 
and student orientated approaches to teaching and learning were especially being advocated within the international scholarship of teaching and learning, which is at the core of our programs. The need to facilitate modules online has resulted in reimagining the role of the teacher as a guide on the side rather than the traditional sage on the stage. In turn, this shift has amplified appreciation of learning as an iterative process that requires the support of mentors and peers as critical friends invested in good work. Also, communities of care. The mounting challenges of the pandemic as a global, global event has meant that teachers are more aware of the socially situated lives of our students and how good learning experiences need support. To help students cope, uh, staff have demonstrated flexibility as many students try to figure out how to establish a new normal. Lecturers have demonstrated compassion for the situation that students are in and have stayed connected with them by sending check-in emails and setting up additional office hours that has allowed academics to stay connected with our students. And also enhancing learning. Reconsidering teaching during the pandemic has resulted in a corresponding reconsideration of learning, not just as a cognitive, but also as situated in the social and cultural context. In tertiary education, uh, the scholarly teacher is the disciplinary practitioner who models attitudes and dispositions in the domain of knowledge uh, of either the discipline or indeed of professional practice. For many, this pandemic has been an opportunity to reimagine the curriculum differently by considering what they want their students to be able to do as well as know. And this has resulted in a greater appreciation of learning as a performance of understanding. This appreciation in turn has freed educators to design effective opportunities to promote enhanced learning experiences that place emphasis on learning as a process rather than as a product. And Circle's programs highlight that teaching is not a pedagogical solitude, but also has potential to be promoted and sustained by a community of practice that fosters uh, learning enhancement for authentic social engagement and that models uh, empathetic leadership. So uh, to finish, I'd like to thank all who work in the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning and who deliver these accredited programmes. Indeed, in the last year, uh, our postgraduate certificate uh, was actually the largest single post, uh, postgraduate programme in the entire university. And in particular, I'd like to thank the Circle Fellows who are drawn from the four colleges and indeed other centres such as DSS and who do such stellar work in facilitating online group discussions and to mark a series of assignments throughout the academic year. Some fellows also present key sections of the programme and they're doing all of this work on top of their full normal teaching loads in their own schools. And all of this is greatly, greatly appreciated. I would also thank the core team who deliver the programmes, uh, particularly the programme coordinators, uh, Dr. Bryony Supple and James Cronin who work alongside the wonderful leadership of the director of CERTL, Dr. Catherine O'Mani. Uh, also other members of the team who provide invaluable valuable support and who have been continuing to help the centre to grow, uh, particularly our executive assistant, uh, Claire Devaney, and research support officers, Dr. Laura Lee and Owen Jump and Siobhan O'Neill. We especially wish to thank uh, Dr. John Barrymo and also Patrick Kiley for contributing to this parchment ceremony. All these staff members work tirelessly in bringing our learning and teaching programs to life. So I'll finish by giving you all my most sincere congratulations in finishing your postgraduate certificate or diploma. Gaining these accredited qualifications in teaching and learning in higher education is always a great achievement, but it is even more so this year when I know how much pressure you're all under. So well done and thank you.